Today I'm going to read The Couch Potato from the number one New York Times best-selling team, Jory John and Pete Oswald. Have you ever been a couch potato? I have. Sometimes it's fun to do, but other times it's best to get outside and move around. Read along with me and let's find out about the couch potato. I am a potato. Not a small potato like my brother. Not a sweet potato like my mother. Not a mashed potato like my Uncle Stu. I am a couch potato. Oh yeah, it's true. My favorite place to slouch is on the couch. I spend all my free time sitting in this exact spot. Ah, uh, why would I ever leave this comfy, cozy couch? It's got everything a potato could need. See, I have this, and this, and this, and one of these, and those, and this, and that, and these. Oh, and this. Check it out. This button activates a gadget that fetches me snacks whenever I want. Bam! Impressed. And I don't have to move an inch. Much easier than going to the kitchen. Yeah. If the most important thing in life is to be comfortable at all times, then I think I've got it all figured out. Ah. Uh, but wait, there's more. I haven't revealed the absolute best part about my whole setup. It's everything you see in front of me. Have a look around. Take it all in. Pretty spectacular, right? Yes, it's a sea of shimmering screens from wall to shining wall. What joy! What bliss! These screens feature my favorite shows. This screen has all of my unanswered messages. These screens are where I play video games. And this screen is a live stream of my friend, my best spud for life. Huh? This is how my pals and I spend quality time together. It's much easier than trying to meet up somewhere, like folks did in the old days, that's for sure. Hey, Spuddy. Hey, pal Tato. Yes, from this very couch, I can control everything in my life all the time with just a few taps and a couple clicks. Not bad, eh? Ah. Uh, yes, sirree, this is the life. At least that's what I thought until the other day. Something strange happened. There was a knock at the door. It was a delivery. <laughs> Woohoo! It was my newest device, a video camera that would allow me to watch myself react while I was watching all my favorite shows. All I had to do was plug it in and my room, nah, my kingdom would be complete. But suddenly, Everything went dark. Oh no. Look out. Coming through. Whoops. Oof. Ow. I made it to the window. I pulled back the curtains. The sun seemed brighter than I remembered. There was nothing better to do, so I decided to take my dog, Tata, for a walk outside. It had been a while. Everything was so vivid, like a high-resolution 156-inch curved screen, but even more realistic. Something smelled fresh. After a few moments, I realized that it was the air. I heard a noise, some chirps, a ringtone perhaps? But no, I looked up to see some birds. I wandered down the street from block to block and across the neighborhood. Eventually, I found a park with a hill. There was a massive tree on top. It looked like a desktop background, only it was real. I leaned against the tree. 
It wasn't as comfortable as my couch, not even close, but after a while, it wasn't so bad. Ah. Any worries about the power outage and what I might be missing drifted away. I wasn't thinking about my favorite shows or any unanswered messages or anything else, really. I noticed the stillness, the view, the sky, the clouds, the sunset, and those colors. My goodness, it took a while because there was no fast forward option, but eventually the sun sank below the horizon. By the time I got home, the power was back on. I sat on the couch. I hit the button to brush my teeth. I pulled the lever to change into my pajamas. I turned the knob to watch a bedtime story. Then I noticed my reflection in one of the screens. I wondered how much of my life had been spent in that very spot. It was then and there that I made the decision to peel myself off the couch a bit more often, maybe every day even. And so that's what I've done. I've started hanging out with my friends, my best buddies, outside. We've started biking and hiking and swimming and hiding and seeking. Sometimes we have snacks and play board games. Sometimes we talk all day. We might watch the clouds. There's no big plan. We just see what happens. It makes me wonder, what if I don't always need to be totally comfortable? What if I'm happier when I have a better balance between my gadgets and the world outside? Because it turns out I'm more than just a couch potato. I'm an amusing potato, I'm a smart potato, I'm a kind potato, I'm an entertaining potato, and I'm a sit on a hill and watch the sunset potato. Yes, there's a great big world out there and I want to be part of it, in person. But don't get me wrong, at the end of a long day, after I've run and played and talked and laughed with all my friends, I still think it's awfully nice to slouch on the couch. Ah. Thanks for reading along with me and my friend, the Couch Potato. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.